Shirley Porter has been a client of the Penny Royal Center in Hopkinsville for three years. She rides the bus to the center several days a week where she receives counseling and therapeutic rehabilitation. Yes. What do you have a goal in mind? I like the Penny Royal Center because you can come here and you can talk with, with your problems to uh, any of the nurses, the, the staff. I find them very comfortable to to talk to. That is one of the best things I think can happen to somebody, to have somebody who, would, who cares about you, what you're going through mentally. Shirley, who has high blood pressure, also sees a physician at the center who monitors her numbers as part of a pioneering effort to integrate mental health and primary care. I think the need has always been there. It's recognizing that need, and I think we finally got to the point where we recognized it. We have for many, many years been concerned with the health of persons we serve uh, and every one of those disabilities that we served. Uh, we've referred persons for primary health care, uh, but we haven't had the results that we've, we would have expected. I've been in psychiatric nursing for over 25 years, and in the outpatient clinic, there's so many of those that have passed away in their 40s um, because of heart attack, because of uncontrolled diabetes, uh, hypertension. We found that a person who had, uh, most of the persons we were serving had severe physical illnesses as well as severe mental illness. When either one of those was not treated properly, uh, became out of balance, so to speak, the other often was exacerbated. Uh, we decided we really had to serve that whole person. Like your feet are too swollen. With the help of a series of grants, the Penny Royal Center developed a model for providing primary care on site at the clinic. For Shirley Porter, the change was literally life saving. Ms. Shirley presented in integrated health with uh, these blood pressures um, that were at stroke level. Um, it was not unusual to see her at 240 over 140. Shirley, your blood pressure is a whole, whole lot better today than it normally is. You've been taking your medicine? Yes. And have you been changing your patch? Uh, on when, yes, on Wednesdays. On Wednesdays? Okay. Um, and your weight's looking good even though you went Because of us catching that uh, on the front end, um, it kept her from getting to, you know, catastrophic kind of an event um, that she would not have recovered as well from. We, we're still a long way from where we want to be. But in terms of a vision, we actually want, I have a vision for uh, prescribing health and not just, not just taking care of mental illness or behavioral illnesses, but actually prescribing health. And we've talked about that with our physicians, our staff, and the idea really makes sense. Once again, not just a phrase you throw out there and say, this sounds good, let's do this phrase in a week, but in fact, looking for how we can keep people healthy. Now at the center, they begin the morning with a walk around the parking lot, among other heart healthy activities. They actually teach us, talk to us about nutrition, food that is cooked, it's on all low sodium based healthy foods. It, it's just a good fit. It's good to have somebody help take care of you when you don't know the ropes of how everything goes. Turn now. Well, I need to see a doctor or a nurse. Recently, the Penny Royal Center expanded their services to offer primary care to anyone in the community. And we've gotten um, a lot. We talk about the vision of prescribing wellness. I'm also looking at a vision of um, we've a a one-stop shop, if you will, where folks can come into our center and, you know, you go this hall, that hall, but there's no wrong hall, if you will. Are you having any kind of uh, problems with feeling tired or um, just not having any kind of energy? Um, with our primary care services, we are really looking at um, psychiatrically and emotionally, where is that um, particular person at? Are they having any kind of struggles with depression, substance abuse, um, any of those kinds of things? You know, when you go to your regular primary care doctor, they may not ask you questions about, um, you know, have you been feeling down? Have you had thoughts of suicide? And it's really back to looking at that whole person. The idea of you come to us and we're going to be able to assess you. Um, we're not going to be able to do it perfectly by any means, but the idea of having this professionals, our primary care providers, professionals who are behavioral health providers, 
in the same hallway, if you will. You know, you can walk down the hall and say, Joe, Susie, help me with this. Uh, the, pri the primary care physicians are amazed when they say, you mean I can just ask them? <laughs> say, yeah. Well, he's fairly healthy otherwise, but he's described uh, feeling depressed and lack of uh, interest in pleasurable activities. Um, it can't be business as usual, and, and that's tough because usually business is pretty high no matter where you are. Primary care physicians are overrun, be it health clinics are overrun with people coming in. The needs are high. So to take, step, take a step back and say, now we're gonna do something different. It's not gonna be business as usual. Uh, it, it takes some planning, it really takes some vision, and it takes some determination to be able to do that. Why do I believe that this is gonna make sense? Because I've seen it happen. I've seen the results. Uh, I can actually testify to what's taking place. You can't worry, you know, f focus on your recovery from a mental illness when you're in pain or, you, you know, your body is just not is out of control. So if you get that under control, those persons can actually focus on recovery. And, wow, <laughs> when you see the results and you see that happen with a human being, you realize, yeah, this can work. It does work. We just have to work at it to make it happen for you. I think for, uh, for us that are working in integrated health, it has been um, just so neat to be able to build that rapport with the patients um, and for them to feel comfortable with us and know that, you know, we care about what happens to them and, you know, when their blood pressure comes down to, you know, have a little shout out that, yay, you know, you did what you know, we wanted you to do. It makes my day, that's what I really would like to say. Coming here really makes my day. And I'm doing something that I like, and so I'm figuring that my blood pressure would come down if I'm doing something that I like.